Okay, here we go. Hey there, it's Steve. And Courtney. From Serious Keto, and I am about to break one of my rules for this channel. Normally, I only will cover a product, like I do a review or a promotion or something like that for a given company at most, at most once a month. Usually I try to like put a two month gap between things. So like Perfect Keto, they, they're constantly having promos. Mm -hmm. And I only do, you know, maybe every other month. Keto Chow, they release their surprise box once a month. Mm -hmm. Your mom and I do it every other month. Yeah. And last week we did what? The Pecan Sticky Bun of Ultimate Awesomeness. That's right. I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> and this week... We have a new flavor that we're going to try out. This is another flavor from Joe and Rachel at Two Crazy Ketos. Previously, they had done caramel macchiato and Irish cream. Mm -hmm. I had those. I remember those. Did you like them? I think I like the caramel macchiato. Okay. Yeah, the Irish cream threw me initially because I was expecting sort of like Bailey's Irish cream and it's more like the coffee Irish cream. Okay. Anyhow, continuing that sort of warm beverage theme... Their new flavor, you want to hold up yours, is... Chai Latte. That's right, Chai Latte. And you are a fan of Chai Latte, are you not? Mm -hmm. How much do you like it? Um, you know, I haven't had it since last season, but I was like hardcore Chai so Latte you, lover for a little so bit. You, so you like it a lot, Tay? I didn't wear my dad jokes shirt. <laughs> All right, I hope I like this because, I, well, first, I don't know that I've had a Chai Latte. If, well, we've had plenty of chai stuff. But I don't know that I've had it. Okay. We had it all in stock while you were living here. Yeah, but you never drank it. No, Yeah. I didn't. And the reason I hope I like it is because Joe and Rachel really liked Pecan Sticky Bun. Now, I don't feel like I'm obligated to like theirs just because they liked mine, but I hope I do. Mm -hmm. I made this. I used fat. Or, of course, I used fat. I used butter, unsalted butter, as my fat in this. After our little experiment using Wagyu tallow on the pecan sticky bun went slightly sideways. <laughs> right? I'm glad. Were you smelling it first? I didn't know. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. Okay. I didn't know how it was supposed to smell. But you've tasted it now. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got some butter chunks. <laughs> Me too in there. I'm not sure why that happens sometimes. I mean, I, I melt the butter, I mix it with hot water, and then I go into the fridge. And it seems like sometimes I get the little, little specks of butter. So now I'm going to try and not think about the specks of butter and just think about the taste. I'll let you go first. It tastes good, but I wish it was spicier. Okay. So what spices typically are in a chai latte that really bring the punch? Because I'm getting, I think I'm getting like star anise. Okay. Yeah. And I'm getting cinnamon. I feel like some more cinnamon and some, a little bit of like black pepper even. Mm. I get a bit, I get, I do taste a little bit of that. I'm going to have one more taste now that you've chai educated me. <laughs> So having never had chai before, I'm probably not the best person to, to talk about this, but unless of course you haven't had chai before, then maybe I'm the perfect person to describe this. As I was tasting it, I got sort of a, a combination of a really nice Yankee candle, you know, some sort of a Yankee candle spice scent type candle, and a pleasant incense type of a smell. Like if this were an incense, I would like this because it's not, it's not yeah. overpowering. I, I'm, I, I got to pour more because I'm still, I'm trying to say what I would compare this to for a non-chai person. Yeah. There's um nutmeg, allspice, and cardamom mm. as the seasonings in here. So I don't know if cinnamon is technically in. Yeah, I, I know it's, it's on but the picture. It's good. I just, I like a, uh, more you like a little spice, more bite a little more bite a little to more it bite. but i guess if i were drinking an entire thing of it maybe that i would it would probably be a little overpowering. yeah so yeah um 
The more I have of this, the more I like it, and the more I think this would make a fantastic ice cream or a pudding. I think as a pudding, I would go nuts for this. Like a, a rice pudding? Yeah, or, um, or a chia seed pudding, since we can't yeah. do rice uh, here on keto. I think a, a chia seed pudding with this would be pretty stellar. Um, and also, the more the more I drink of it, the more I'm getting that cardamom. And I love cardamom. Mm -hmm. I, I love cardamom in Indian sweets. So yeah, when I first tasted it, I just, I didn't know what to expect. Mm -hmm. You know, it, like you have blueberry pie and you're like, whoa, this is totally blueberry pie. But if you don't have a frame of reference, you're kind of, you're also processing a new flavor. And now that I'm done sort of processing it as a new flavor, I like this. I gotta figure out why lately though, I've been getting little butter specks. I haven't, yeah. I've been, I've been making this keto chow the exact same way for over a year using between two and three tablespoons of melted butter as my fat. And I don't know if it's because the newer versions of keto chow have less acacia gum and it's not holding that, you know, the, the butter in emulsion as well, or what exactly is going on. I would hate to have to switch back to heavy whipping cream as my fat. I just... Butter really makes, Good especially taste. like the fruit flavors or spice flavors, pop a lot more. I think heavy whipping cream kind of blunts that a bit. Yeah. So would uh, would you recommend chai latte to a latte fan? Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's a good, this is a good flavor. And I would recommend it if you're someone who likes using keto chow to make recipes, because I think this could make, like I said, some really good pudding mm -hmm. or ice cream, maybe something else. I don't know yet. I bet they'll have recipes, though. In the box? Or uh, just on the website? Either that or I, I bet you Joe and Rachel come up with some recipes because oh, they're yeah. pretty creative. All right. So another winner from Two Crazy Ketos. I will put a link down in the description below to Keto Chow. And there, if you use the link, you automatically get 10% off your purchase. Awesome. So that is going to be it for us. See you next time. Thanks for watching.